Okay, so uh, Mick Fennick and Michael Stones here for Cross UK doing a review of the Innovate X Talon 212. Um, both Michael and I own a pair of these. I've got a slightly older model, but we're able to give you a really decent review of them and how they've performed. Interestingly, this is a shoe that's won the most um, trail running championships, and that's promoted on the Innovate website, and also called the X Talon because you can use these shoes and the talons on the bottom, like an eagle would, to catch prey. I don't think that's true. It says it on the site. I'm pretty sure you've misread that. This is the 212 thing all over again. Right, tenor? Tenor. Right. I'll show you. This is definitely mine. Definitely mine. Today I'm out here in Hampstead Forest getting ready to review the new Innovate X Talon 212s. These have been out on the trail just once or twice. This is the first big run that we've done with them, and you can see the kind of stuff that we're running off some loose stones and some rough plants. So far, these have held up really well. Involved in them. I've run on these on real slippy stones up on the fells and they were absolutely amazing. Um, so today I'm giving them a proper run out up here on the top of the Right, after the first 5 k's they're still feeling particularly comfortable. I, uh, I actually wear insoles, the orthotics, and what I've done is put them in underneath the Innovate insoles and they are still very, very comfortable. The first time I did it, and I was up on the, the tops in the lakes, up at High Spy, I actually thought I'd forgotten to put my insoles in because they are genuinely that comfortable. The weight of them is pretty obvious because they're the X Talons 212, so they're 212 grams. On your feet, they feel particularly light. You do need to be wearing <coughs> some kind of high wicking sock so that it does get rid of any moisture. These are actually the first pair of off-road trainers that I've got that aren't Gore-Tex and it was quite a challenge for me deciding to go with non-Gore-Tex but with a decent sock it does make a massive difference and it's not actually too uncomfortable. Hello, Mick Fennick for Cross UK here reviewing the Exxon 212. Now this is a pair of shoes that I've owned for about a year so I can speak uh, with experience of these shoes and taught you through it. The x talon part refers to the sole, so the sole has got these studs on or talons which are made from a sticky compound. That sticky compound rubber is one that gives you really good grip and traction on wet surfaces, so particularly when you're off-road and be it rock or sort of grassy surfaces, get really good grip. One of the downsides to that is that for it to get that traction it needs to be that bit softer and that does mean that it wears down a little bit easier. Um, Having said that, they've still got good grip on these and I've had them for around a year, running two to three times a week. So I think that's a, that's good value for money really if you can get a, a full year out of a pair of off-road shoes. The 212 part refers to the weight of the shoe and weighing in at 212 grams if it was a pair of size 8s, which is a sort of average size for them, then it's really light. The upper part is um, mesh lined and it's made from, well it's synthetic basically, which means that when you're wearing these it will wick away moisture really well, provided you've got a pair of socks that are going to assist in doing that as well. Having worn these in Coniston on the Lakeland Trails Marathon, um, we had to run through a stream when the bridge was out, uh, worn them on the narrow fell series, so doing some of the summer fell series when you're running, running through wet gorse or uh, sort of heather, again the water will wick away from these within sort of 10 or 15 minutes of, of decent running. So they do exactly what they need to in that sense. 
Um, the two arrows on the back, which you might not be able to see here, but they are um, a reference to how cushioned the sole is, and that's the middle of the range for Innovate. The cushioning on these is a really good balance between that and that additional bit of weight. Having owned a pair of Exhalon 190s previously with the, with the one arrow on the back, it was really noticeable when you went over really sort of jagged, rocky surfaces that you would feel that impact through your foot. Whereas with these, they've got that really good balance between that slightly additional weight, the extra sort of 20 grams, and having that additional bit of cushioning, which means that they're a really comfortable shoe. One of the problems that I have had with these, and this is the second pair that have done it, is the front of these, you can just see there, the ends of the toe just coming away from the actual shoe itself. Now this is after a year's wear, this didn't really start happening until about sort of six months in. Um, the first pair of these that I had that did that, I sent them back to Innovate, and Innovate sent me out the pair that I've got here in my hand for free. So again, the customer service on that is really good, which you can't fault, and it may well be something more to do with the way that I use them and store them. Um, rather than it being a specific sort of fault with the Innovate shoe itself. But I have to say, I mean, I've been extremely pleased with these. A superb pair of off-road shoes, and from across the UK, it's five stars.